Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Get ready to take a trip down every lane. That table can only mean one thing. We're going to be playing Game.com. Episode of Memory Lane. We're gonna be playing a little bit of Indy 500. Now, this is one game I actually never played before. Let's see if we can back this camera for a second. Let's take a nice close look at Indy 500. Let's see if we can get a nice magnifying view right there. Look at this. We have Indy 500. You can see what the label art looks like right there. And you have a couple of race cars that are racing. And uh, this might be like, a, like an exclusive on the Tiger Direct. Uh, not Tiger Direct, the Tiger Electronic handheld. I don't think this is on anything else. You got the uh, Indy 500 and the label right there. It's kind of hard to see. Let's see if we can back the camera up just a little bit here. Let's see, I have a better idea what we're looking at. Much better. All right. Indy 500. We can probably zoom this in a little bit more here. Okay. I guess that doesn't want to zoom in any more than that. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Probably get a little closer. This is a magnifying glass right here, so. There we go. Now you guys can see that real close. Now that's what it looks like. Like really up close. And these cartridges are pretty small. So we're gonna. Put the magnifying glass over to the side for now with the light on. And we're going to be using the light to play game.com. And what we're going to do is zoom down at the table. Alright, that looks actually pretty good right there. Let's see if we can zoom in about right there. We're going to put the cartridge in. Uh, the cartridge goes in on the side right here. It actually goes in facing this way. It's incredibly loud. You see the chair that. Let's see if you can zoom out this a little bit right there. Now this is also touch screen, so I can technically touch that right there, and it actually reacts through touch screen. Alright, so we got Indy 500 right here. Now, this is one game that I've never really played too much before. Got a uh, introduction right here. Check this out. There we got the main menu. You got start and option. So, uh, let's uh, go to the options real quick. Medium. So you actually get to test out the sound effects. And there's only five sound effects to actually test out. All right, so uh, quite the loud thing right here. So let's see if we can turn the sound down just a little bit. And these are the vehicles that you can choose. Car A, B, C, it's B, C, that's A, and they basically look like the same car, slightly different paint, and uh, top speed, I guess we'll try that Please out. Select a transmission. 
All right, so we have automatic or six speed. We'll do automatic. Automatic transmission. You can see Ladies that. Ladies and gentlemen, they try to. Your they they kind of try to make it look like a Ridge Racer or a. They told me USA. Ready? Go. Oh my God! What the hell is that? What is happening here? <laughs> Whoa, okay. So, a little, just a tad bit confused. All right, so we're racing here, and every time we turn the corner, It looks like my car blew up again. Okay. I mean, this game is definitely not making sense to me right now. I'm wondering, am I pushing the wrong button or what? What the? Heck? It's so easy to crash. I guess you have to slow down when you're turning. Okay, so we hit the finish line. So now we have, oh my god. So we have other uh, race car drivers on the track right now. We're going to turn the volume down just a little bit because that's incredibly loud. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is awful. Wow. I mean, if you were to look at a screenshot of this game, it would probably look cool and not bad. But I must say, this is pretty bad. Oh, you can change the view. That's actually better, I guess. So if you push up on your D-pad, it changes the view. <laughs> that actually looks pretty cool, I'll admit. All right, so we went to the pit. We'll see what happens here. Now this is what the pit stop looks like. And the, uh, the sound effects are quite bad. The, the motor sound effect is it's very, very annoying and obnoxious. The, uh, the explosion sound effect is actually not bad. And it's so easy to crash, it's horrible. So you can see there's like multiple layers of detail here. What other views are there? There's that, and there's that. That's pretty cool, how you change your, your view right there. 
They kind of try to make it look like it's 3D, but it's really not. So we've got a time extension right there. It looks like we hit some oil or something like that. You can see all the uh, tire detail. This game is pretty bad to the point of where I just want to quit. So we're going to go back into it one more time. And this is Indy 500. Now apparently in here, you can change it to rain. I'm just curious to see how that actually works. So we're just going to choose a vehicle and we're going to try to experience what it's like to drive in the rain in this game. Alright, so right now it's raining. What the hell? I was literally decelerating, not even accelerating my vehicle at all, and I crash. Oh my god. Oh my god, what the hell is going on with this game? Oh man, okay, so that's it, I'm done. Definitely not the uh not the greatest game.com game. Indy five hundred. Um if you wanna deal with the frustration of playing this or if you're just collecting GameCom games, then yeah, sure, if you want to buy this, go right ahead. I certainly, uh, I own the game, but I do not like playing this game at all. It's definitely very, very frustrating. Not fun. So if you enjoyed this episode of Memory Lane, if you enjoyed me suffering while playing this game, don't forget to give a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know what you think about Indy 500 on the GameCom. It's uh, not fun at all, to say the least.